Hello there everybody, Peter of England here bringing you an important New Year's message. Um, this message now has been brought to you on behalf of the people of Europe. The general theme today is to do with re-movement, Brexit, uh, the Yellow Vest movement which is called Gilets Jaunes in France, of which I'll be posting more videos about over the next few days as I'm shortly to be in Paris. Now, what I want to express to you today is the fact that whether you are a Remainer concerning Brexit or whether you're a Brexiteer and voted to leave, the following situation crosses all divides. And what I'm asking you for today is to, for God's sake, waken up. The other countries in Europe see you as asleep. We see considerable demonstrations against the situation of the governing elite, the controlling elite in Belgium, in France, in Holland, in Germany, and we are seeing very, very little movement in the United Kingdom. Now, I mentioned the United Kingdom, but these words today are primarily uh, directed at the people of England, because I, as Peter of England, am going to make you an offer of leadership today. The lies and the deceit and the stonewalling of Theresa May's government and also of the ruling elite in the United Kingdom are now to such an extent that every man and his dog realises something's not quite right. Would you not agree? So, is it a coincidence, please ask yourself, that these three major countries all overlapping and a latitude are in grave danger of having their so-called leadership overturned. If we look in Germany, recently we had this uh, amazing uh, situation where all of the politicians or many people in the politics, media uh, and uh, the uh, uh, acting professions have all had their personal details hacked and disclosed. This is part of a plan, an ongoing plan to expose these individuals for the corruption and the uh, evil that they're involved in. This has happened in Germany, where you have Merkel as the, the, the Chancellor. Next door, you have the riots that are going on constantly in almost every town in France. That's been led, obviously, by uh, uh, the leader of uh, France, is, uh, is Emmanuel Macron. Then you have another M, 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 M. The third M is Theresa May in England, who is uh, leading the people a merry dance on and on and on with this so-called negotiation for Brexit. So what this is all coming down to ultimately is two groups, two polarised entities, um, the traitors and the patriots. What we have in, the, in the, uh, the House of Westminster, Westminster Parliament on the estate, we have the traitors. The people like the Speaker of the House of Commons, Burko. You have people like uh, Dominic Grieve, ex-Attorney General. You have Keir Starmer, ex-head uh, of the Crown Prosecution Service. You have the entire gamut of these individuals who are all, the vast majority of them, voted for a Remain position. So, you're being led a merry dance and you're being controlled by a satanic, psychopathic elite who have only one aim in common. And that is to maintain the control of you and keep things just as they were before. So, this controlling elite now are doubling down on the deceit, on the disinformation and on the aggression. So what this is amounting to is it's, it's not anymore about whether, as I said before, whether you, whether you voted to leave or whether you voted to remain. This crosses all party divides now, and this should be made apparent to you. So, what I'd like to ask you now to do is to have a look at the Eurozone and any rationality that you had as a Remainer to ask yourself, why on earth would you want to stay in this lunatic asylum, which is an economic catastrophe and is falling, about, uh, falling, about, or falling into ruin all around you? Look at the success of it. It's not to be seen. There is no success. So, if you look at Greece, bankrupt. Italy, bankrupt. Spain, bankrupt. Portugal, bankrupt. Ireland, bankrupt. 
The United Kingdom in a very poor state following its decision to want to leave. France economically on its knees. The only powerhouse that's probably still propelling it along momentarily is the German economy because everybody seems to want German products. So ask yourself this, if you were a Remainer, why is it that no or not one country that has ever asked or tried to leave has ever been successful in leaving? Don't forget, the French had a referendum and voted to leave. It was ignored. The Dutch had a, a, a referendum to leave. It was ignored. The Irish were made to vote again in their referendum. Look what's being done now and spoken about for the United Kingdom, that they're talking about now making an extension to the deadline so that you can vote again to change your mind. And I could see maybe most people might at this stage think, ah, oh, to hell with it. Two and a half years, we haven't been able to extract ourselves. We might as well just go back to bed and take what's coming. But that is not the answer. You have been deceived and you have been um, uh, let down severely by a treasonous bunch of jackals in Westminster. And it's time now, therefore, to make a change. And so what you've got to ask yourself continuous question, why are you not being allowed to leave? And one of the main reasons you're not being allowed to leave is that the Democratic Party of the United States is in effect the same party that's in, uh, in control in, uh, in France under Macron, in, the, in Germany under Merkel and under Theresa May in uh, the United Kingdom. It is a demonocratic, satanic elite who have only one thing in, in mind, and that is the perpetuation of their system of governance. So, it's time now, I would suggest, for the people of England, and don't forget I'm addressing this to the people of England now, not to Scotland, not to Northern Ireland necessarily, and not to Wales, the people of England now to say, enough is enough. Let us enunciate what we have wanted to do from the start, and if we have to get radical about this, and make people like Burko and May and the Boris Johnsons of this world um, and the Corbyns and all the political class shudder, then that's what has to be done. And to this extent, what I'd like to do is address your attention to a website that has just been created and I would suggest you go and have a look at it and it's called Rules for Radicals, and you can find it there, obviously, at the W's, as usual, rulesforradicals.org. So, there comes a time when something like that is needed, and the people have to get off their backsides and make real and meaningful change. However, the people who originally funded the Leave campaign in considerable detail, um, the, uh, the owner of, or founder of J.D. Weatherspoons was one, a guy from O'Day uh, Asset Management was another, uh, a guy from the Hargreaves uh, stores, um, uh, Har Hargreaves and Lansdowne, um, they all contributed vast amounts of money for the Leave uh, campaign and they're disenchanted somewhat now if you read the popular press, the mainstream media prostitutes who are telling you it's all going to be economic misery if you leave. Because these individuals now are almost saying that they don't expect even to get out of the, the European Union now. They expect an extension and a fudging of the result. Now, if that is the case, then that isn't the country that I want to be in, and I don't think it's the country that you should want to, to remain in. So, to conclude, it's patriots now against traitors. We are mobilizing. We are going to go onto the street. You need to come and join re-movement, and that is a political party that is now, I suggest, as I offer this leadership offer to the people of England, we will force a general election, or we will, at the next general election, bring about a sea change of politics in the UK, the likes of which has never ever been witnessed. And what that means, in effect, a very radical solution we must recall all these 650 MPs plus the Privy Council and remove them from their positions of office. And we will do it with the help of the military and the secret services, both in the United Kingdom and the United States, that's GCHQ, the NSA, and also our friends in other countries, 
to bring about a full transparent revelation of the degree, degree of evil, corruption and satanic crimes against humanity, humanity that these people are involved in. So let me reiterate as we conclude here, these people are evil. They have nice smiles, they have shiny suits, they're on very, very high paid salaries, they work for the corporatocracy once they leave their positions in government for the reward of what they managed to push through, through the lobbying and the controlling interests while they were in Parliament. So this is a, a, a cry now for a better England, um, a real meaningful change. So please now, whether you are a Remainer, whether you are a Lever, send this video to everyone and anyone so that they may look at it, appraise it, and decide whether or not to join. So, the people who funded and backed Brexit initially are very, very aware and very vociferous in the fact that they see no leadership within the Brexit movement anymore. Nigel Farage has left UKIP, as you know. Tony Robinson is being possibly positioned for a, a, a future role in UKIP. That's all well and good. But what we're talking about here is something more, something more serious, and to take this, this, uh, this refusal to accept this jackboot of the global elite's satanic oppression on our necks anymore. And what I would ask you to do as we conclude is take a look at this website. The details of all this information will be, be, be below. And look at Brexit to Exit. So for all you Remainers out there, if you thought that Brexit was too much for you to handle, the next instalment as part of the plan is coming your way very soon. And it's almost, almost inevitable that it will arrive because this sea change of political movement is now underway in Europe. The Yellow Vest movement is part of uh, and uh, uh, a very... A major plank in the desire for change and it's something that's come out of France and uh, other uh, it's not a coincidence that we have a, a, a frog here no, no disrespect to the French but for many of you you will understand why the frog is sitting there so Peter of England signing off saying follow the links make sure you join send out this video to everyone, whether they are friends or, uh, uh, or just acquaintances or family, ask them to make a comment, look at it, consider the implications of what I'm saying here. It's time for serious change in the United Kingdom, particularly in England, because you are being led a merry dance, and is this what everyone who fought in the Second World War and the First World War fought for, the millions that died. What was it for if it's to remain in Europe in a, in a Gestapo Nazi Kazi where the fact that we want to leave leads to the fact that it's nothing more than a punishment for the two and a half years that we've been trying to uh, um, disentangle ourselves from this, this toxic octopus which is the European Union, which is a failed organisation, and the Remainers, I, I'm sorry to say, the only emotional reason you might have for wanting to stay is an emotion. An emotion is not fact, and what we want is facts. So if you look at the emotional reason for staying, it may be because you like the look of the flag and the nice stars on it. But factually, every country that's in it is broke and has been made to swallow down the austerity soup because they're bankrupt, and if everybody's owing money to everyone else, what's the end net result? So let's make England great again. Let's make it mega. Let's get out of the European Union, and let's also secede from the Act of Union 1707. And the only way you can do that is by joining a movement, taking the insignia, wearing it on the street, and let's get moving. Peter of England is coming over now from Paris, from this weekend, and he is going to begin to show you with Rules for Radicals, Brexit to Exit, how to retake England. My offer of leadership is there on the table, 
and it's a dance to the very end, and I throw down the gauntlet to the British government and to all the security services there that they shouldn't be standing in the way because uh, change is inevitable now and the military tribunals will be there soon enough for the trials of accountability for the deception and the treason that's been loaded onto the backs of the sovereign. And the sovereign is you, the people. Okay? Follow the links, subscribe, join. Thank you.